Angel Cortez. Diddy Kong versus Diddy Kong. Possibly. I know. I, I, I can't remember. Was it was it Angel that doesn't like the Diddy Kong Dittos, or was that J Tails back in the day? I can't remember. I don't think I, any I, Diddy I wanna, Kong likes the Diddy no, Kong. No, I think I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was J Tails. God, I miss J Tails, man. But he's oh. he's gonna be a Civil War, so I'm excited to see him again. Oh. Does yeah. he ever come back and visit? I haven't. I felt like not yet. He was not, supposed. Oh, he's oh. going for the Mewtwo. Oh, oh, oh. Number 150 Pokemon up to deck. And Dill, of course, does have a Mewtwo. I actually, I'm shocked that he's doing this. Now that I think about it, because Mewtwo loses hard to Diddy Kong. Like he loses hard. Like you know, you have like our local Mewtwo player, this is like Leo, laments this matchup. And even at the top level, you see Abadongo struggle time and time again against Zero. So I'm very curious as to what Dill's thought process is in this counter pick, especially because he's no slouch. And I understand that like you know the Ditto can be really frustrating for almost every character, but this is a matchup that I feel like will only put him at a disadvantage. But we'll see how it plays out. We'll see know? how it plays out. I mean, who knows what's going through Dill's mind. Maybe it's just he wants to test out Mewtwo. Maybe he feels confident using Mewtwo against him. Maybe he feels unconfident using Diddy Kong or Sheik. There's a multitude of reasons why. But that was a smart snipe coming from not Venia, but Angel Cortez. He actually threw the banana peel against the wall and actually fell down and caught Dill while he was trying to use teleport to get back onto the stage. Yeah, you saw he threw it at the stage and it just like drips down just like ever so slightly, but there was nothing that Dill could do at that point. And that's, I mean, that and a lot of other reasons are why this matchup can be so difficult. And I, I really, I am hard pressed to find like the benefits to going Mewtwo here. <laughs> For somebody who plays Diddy Kongi, doesn't seem to use it, the banana very well when he gets a hold of it as Mewtwo. I mean, it, it, different types of follow-ups. And that was like the weirdest conversion. He used the Shadow Claw forward air in order to just like destroy the rocket barrel and send Angel flying. Oh, uh, that, that was a weird mash out. Well, so, I cannot believe he mashed so out what that happened, quickly. It's not that he mashed out. It's that he actually went for a dash grab. And it, because they were already going off stage, he broke out of it. Oh, like the Falcon thing. Yeah, it's, it's oh. pretty impossible to mash out that quick. <laughs> But thankfully, you know, he's on the ledge that actually saved Angel's life because he would have been dead. Yeah. That was like a guaranteed up throw. Absolutely. Angel um, just being relentless off stage with all of these kicks. Yeah, and this is looking pretty grim. You two, a character who's he's sort of a glass cannon. You know, he's a glass cannon, which means that he is supposed to have all of this kill power, which he does in his up throw and his forward air. Uh, but he really struggled to get that kill. He really did, which is sort of a bad sign. Oh, I, I feel like unless he turns this around and gets some crazy comeback, I feel like we might see a character switch. Uh, I mean, that, that is totally applicable to Dill. Since he plays multiple characters, so like if he definitely doesn't feel comfortable with this game. He's definitely gonna, you know, move on to someone else. But he's starting to bring this up back a little bit. I mean, Angel may have the percent lead, but there's always the rage factor, and he finally connected his first neutral air. Starting to establish a little st bit of stage control against Angel Cortez. If he manages to get the wrong, the wrong follow-up, he manages to go for the dash attack. Tries to Z drop the banana peel in order to cover it in case Angel Cortez wanted to recover low. Man, he was going for the hardest re with that down smash. Yeah, my it, word. It it didn't work out though, and there it is—the back air closing out the stock. That was pretty close in the end, but. I still feel like probably Dill should look for another character to attack this matchup with. Possibly Sheik, if he really doesn't want to do the Diddy Ditto. Uh, but it looks like he might be sticking with him. Yep. I'm not shocked. I, I, th I, felt, I felt like he was definitely bringing that back. What To me, I felt like that first stock was Mewtwo. It's just He was trying to like learn, okay, this is Angel's playstyle, this is the Diddy Kong playstyle, and then he started to bring it back, that second stock, so he definitely feels a little bit more confident. Yeah. So I'm, I actually applaud him for sticking with Mewtwo. We're going to see how well it does for him this time. But I think, I don't know, I also feel like the main reason is because of the survivability. Like the fact that, you know, he survived for so long. But I don't necessarily think that that's a constant. Uh, I think Angel Cortez was playing particularly safe because he had the lead. Um, so even though he did bring it back, he pretty much was losing the percent war like 2-1 to one or 3-1 to one even. Okay, so you see him trying to go for these neutral layers off stage, trying to drag Angel down into a possible footstool, putting a super disadvantageous position. Yeah, like, look at this. It's, I think the matchup is still in effect. Oh, up the up tilt string. That was so smart coming from Dill. Goes for this 
double up up tilt and then went for the up tilt up through the roof. That should be it. Yep. He Just almost lived it. The battlefield blast zone's trying to make him come back. Yeah, I I really do feel like that last game was not it was not as close as it actually looked, and I think that this game is starting to show that that uh, Cortez does have a really solid command right now of what of just how he's playing against Dill's Mewtwo here. Um, oh, dropping down does not actually get the edge guard though. He goes for a back throw, putting him back off stage, but he still has a jump, and he managed to make it back to ledge once again. Yeah, I don't know, like, he hasn't, like, Dill in general hasn't been doing a great job of, like, that the was Angel ridiculous. Cortez classic. That was, is that what he does? There was no banana peel that led into that down he air either. He at the end, too. Just he got a footstool at the he, end. I mean, he was probably there just was, mash and jump to get back on the I'm stage, sure he but was. But the footstool still came out. But that was still, I, like, if you listen to our commentary, just silence at the moment, because we're like, oh, oh. He, but he did it. He got it. He read the jump.